a junior from Bellevue East. My poems, Don't Let Them In, it's purely fictional, but okay. Kisses in the dark, hands exploring, mapping an unknown landscape, hearts beating as one, enveloped in the night's embrace. My father says it's wrong for a man to love another. What does he know of love? What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Slam. Oh no, he's home early, bellowing words late, words laced in anger he knows. I run and lock my door. This wasn't supposed to happen. He wasn't supposed to find out, not until I went off to college and he couldn't hurt us, or, you know, never. Footsteps running up the stairs, heart pounding in my chest. I hear him go to the gun safe. Don't let him in. Flashes of memories. Dad picking me up after I fell off my bike, pushing me on the swing, holding me close when the nightmares were too real. He's not that man right now. I have to hide him under the bed. No, too many dirty socks in the closet. Did I really just think that? Mom trying to reason with him, yelling to stop. The sharp sound of flesh hitting flesh. She is silent. Dad's ramming at the door now. It's fracturing, splintering against his weight. Please, God, you got me into this. Don't let him in. No time to hide now. He shoves me behind him, my knight in shining flannel. Half-buttoned shirt, ruffled ebony hair, swollen lips. Perfection personified. The door's white flag waves. Breaking down, Marcus rushes Dad. There's a fight over the gun, a deafening thunder. Dad backing away in horror. Tears like bullets on skin. Fingers moving to stop the bleeding. Mom calls 911. I stare into Marcus's deep blue eyes. I'm lost at sea. They won't make it in time. Words like a caress against the skin. You were worth it. Marcus leans in to kiss me goodbye. Just before I die. Here you go. <laughs>